Atina. Happy Kwanzaa. How about Argani? Argani. Atina, for what my, my understanding is that this is the 13th year that we're celebrating Kwanzaa at this location. Am I correct? Yes, yes it is. And we're absolutely happy to have it here again for the community. Um, it's actually collectively being done with three organizations, the Yonkers African American Heritage Committee, the YMCA of Yonkers, and Sister to Sister International. Now, for those that don't know what Kwanzaa is, you know, there is a lot of people out there. They think Kwanzaa, it's Christmas for the, for the African us. I'm yes. actually an African, mm -hmm. but it's not. No, it's not. So let's take this opportunity to educate our audience and those that don't know what Kwanzaa actually means. Sure. Kwanzaa is a non-political, non-religious holiday. It is the celebration and homage to African ancestry. And we're talking about African ancestry all over the United States and also the world. So if you're a person who's Afro-Cuban, if you're from Honduras, if you're Mexican, if you're from the Caribbean, or if you're born here in the United States, then that involves you. And Kwanzaa basically means first fruits. And Kwanzaa, it consists of seven principles. And from December 26th to January 1st, we celebrate a principle each day. And we also give a gift each day to a person that we love. Now, Kwanzaa, it's not just for the African American. Right. This is open to any culture. That is correct. Correct. So tell us where we at. So for those that are watching this live stream, yes. can come over here and learn a little bit about our culture. So those of you who are members of Yonkers Voice, we are here at the Yonkers Riverfront Library, one lock and center in downtown Yonkers, right across the street from the Metro North train station. We're on the second floor in the community room A and B. The celebration takes place in the entire room. It is one of the biggest Kwanzaa celebrations in Westchester County. It is very well known for not just the educational piece, but also the learning piece. Here you actually learn about Kwanzaa. And what's so great about it is that we teach the children. We bring them up front. They stand and they sit in the circle and we teach them piece by piece what each principle means what all of the objects on the table represent and after that they're able to actually do arts and craft arts and craft that pertain to kwanzaa so this is not just a learning experience for us those of us who are african americans who may not be aware of our culture and kwanzaa is kiswahili for first fruits and we Kiswahili is one of the most speaking languages in West Africa. But it is also a great learning curve for people of other cultures, whether you're Asian or Indian or Hispanic or other. So please, we're here from 12 to 4 today. Come, you're going to have a joyous time. Now, Athena, just let's get off Kwanzaa for a little bit. Sure. Tell us about you. I know you're an author. Yes. I know you have some books out there. For those that want to get one of your books, tell us about it, where to get them. Tell us a little bit about Athena, the author. Well, I have been, I'm actually originally from the Bronx, born and raised. Um, I've been a resident of Yonkers for the past 13 years. Uh, I enjoy writing. I've been writing for 30 years since I was 14. Initially started writing poetry and I've been an award-winning author for the past 10 years. Um, actually, for the new year, on January 29th, I will be at the Ossining Public Library in Ossining, New York, and I will be doing a public speaking engagement there with my book, Francesca's Journey. And Francesca's Journey is about a little girl that goes through foster care. And there's still over 450,000 chil children in the United States that are still in foster care. So for me, I use my books to educate, heal, and inspire. So. I'm looking forward to really taking this book and really having people see the value of it. It's not just going to be a book to help increase literacy amongst our young people, but it's also going to address issues such as bullying, loss of a parent, and change of home environment. 
And what's the great thing about it is this book is being promoted through the Ossining School District. So there's gonna be teachers, parents, students from junior high school and high school who are gonna be coming out on that day. So it's not just for people in Ossining. Regardless of where you are, you can get on the Metro North train, come on up to Ossining on January 29th. I will be there from one to three. It'll probably be extended a little bit longer and you'll get to learn about Francesca's journey, which is my young adult education book. Now I must get Francesca's journey. I have to get it. Sure. Where can I? You can get it on Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com, ebook, and Kindle. Don't forget, guys, Francesca journey. Yes. Thank you. Journey. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. So now, guys, let me go around so you guys can see the celebration. Okay. Thank you. Gave their life for freedom. Who remembered who they were, who they are, not who they were, who mm. they presently are. That's right. That's we true. are the living Africans. Wow, wow, wow. We couldn't stand before mm. public and say that in, in times past. You had to be in hush harbors. Wow. You had to be quiet about being <laughs> your authentic self. Teach, teach, Bob. Mm. So. Teach, oh yeah. Kwanzaa is that time, and so we want to conclude this libation with the libation statement that my wife will now recite. Our fathers and mothers came here, lived, loved, struggled, and built here. At this place, their love and labor rose like the sun mm. and gave strength to the meaning of the day. Wow. For them, then, that gave so much, we give in return. On the same soil, we will sow our seeds mm. in liberation and a higher level of human life. May our eyes be, be the eagle, our strength be the elephant, yes. and the boldness of our life be like the lion. And may we remember to honor our ancestors and the legacy they left for as long as the sun shines and the water flows. Ah, shit. Mm. So for our people everywhere then, for Shaka, Samurai and, and Zynga, and all others known and unknown who defended our ancestral land, history, and humanity from alien invaders, we say, For Garvey, Muhammad, Malcolm, and King, Marion, Fanny Lou, Sojourner, Bethune, and Nat Turner, and all others who dare to define, defend, and develop our interest as a people, we say, for our people, for our children, and a fuller and freer lives that they live because we struggle. Yes. We say, for the Kuwaita and in Saba, the new system of values and which give identity, purpose, and direction to our lives. We say, for the new world we struggle to build. We say, and for the continuing struggle for through which we will inevitably rescue and reconstruct our history and humanity in our own image Come on and in our according to our own needs, we say. Ashe. 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 We want to just make mention, wow. um, without belaboring it, that um, pouring libation is not some hoodoo-y kind of thing that may conflict with a religious understanding on, that's right. it is a respecting and what we do is we sim we use symbols africans use symbols so we use a, the water as a symbol for the spirit because we know that spirit is eternal right that god gives us a spirit and that spirit of life is always is eternal it goes the body goes away but the spirit remains and so that dna Mm. That was your grandfather and your great grandfather and your great 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 grandfather and mother are in you. That's right. right. So That's that right. you are mm. your great 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 grandmother. You are the latest and most modern version <laughs> of the ancient, most ancient peoples of the world. Yes. And so we pour the water into the plant to represent that now you see the water 
and then you don't see the water when it goes under the ground. That's right. But it's still working. Yes. Mm. So our ancestors yes. are still working Ooh, for yes. us. Still working. So Ever. That, that they taught us, Ever. I still remember. Mm. I thank my grandmother who whooped me and gave me lunch. Yes. Mm. Come on, teach. Right? That's right. The lady down the street who used to scream off the, get off the, get off the curb. Don't be playing out in the street. Wow, wow. Where's your mother? Aren't you so-and-so's daughter? Mm. What you doing over here on this side of town? <laughs> sure. All of those See people John. who we honor, who helped us to be the people that we are now, we want to thank. And so we say, I shake. I shake. I shake. I shake. I shake. I shake. That concludes our libation. At this time, we want to bring forth one of our members and uh, a dear, uh, uh, also a a, a staple of our community, and uh, also a, I believe, a, uh, a officer of the YMCA, and that is uh, our brother, Minister John Thompson. Let's see, see what around the floor. We're gonna have the opportunity to pray together. So, if yes, you sir. would stand with me. Yes. And shall we pray? Our Father, we give thanks to you because you are a wonderful God. Mm. We rejoice in who you are and all that you have done in our lives. Even though we've been a people that have struggled over so many things, you've been there for us. And we thank you, our Father, for that. Someone once wrote, we've come this far by faith. Lord, we could not have gotten anywhere without you. So we thank you, our Father, for being a part of our lives and, and for investing yourself in us. Okay. so that we could be the kind of people that we ought to be. Now, Lord, today we have accomplished so much, but yet, Lord, there is so much more to accomplish. We still have young people that are getting lost. We have mm. young people that are not looking in the right direction. We have older people that are sitting on the porch drinking, drinking and doing things they shouldn't do. We have things that may not be right. But our Father, because we are a people made, created by you, we are also a people that are going to be restored by you to the greatness that we were called to be. So we pray our Father, that you would strengthen us. Mm. Today, Lord, we celebrate cooperative economics. So we, I pray, our Father, that you would be with us and remind us that we have more than the purpose of just existing. We are expected yeah. to accomplish. Yes. We are expected to achieve. Gee. We are expected yes, to make a difference. That's the expectation that you gave to us. Yes. Now, Father, help us to respect ourselves. Yes. And live up to those expectations. Be in our hearts. Be in our mm -hmm. lives. Give us wisdom. Give us knowledge. Give us strength. Give us power to endure. Lord, if we don't endure to the end, Lord, we're not going to see the victory that you have for us. So we pray, our Father, that today you would be with us. And that you would, again, restore your people to greatness. Mm -hmm. Now, Lord, we thank you because... We're not behind anymore. That's right. Come on. Lord, we are yes. a people that have achieved yes. something. And we're proud of what we've become. That's and right. we're proud of where we're going. And Lord, we by faith, we plan to achieve it, Lord, and we can't do it without you. So our Father, you be with us. You strengthen us. You lift us. You help us to get where we need to go. Help us not to forget not that we're one people. That's right. And that we must bring our brothers and sisters in in order to be complete. That we must draw and lift each other together so that you, Lord, are in the center. Be with us. Give us hope. We love you, and we praise you. We pray these things to you. Amen. 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 While you're standing, let's also take a moment, and we're going to sing one verse of Lift Every Voice That's right. and Sing. Would you sing with me? Lift every voice and sing Till let the heaven ring Ring with the harmony of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the risking skies. Let it resound loud as the On us, facing the rising sun of a new day begun. Let us march on to victory. Is 
one. Yes, I say. Thanks, sir. Let's give uh, Minister John Thompson another round of applause. Yes. For the family. For libration and prayer, the foundation of what we do. And we know that once that is accomplished, we can then proceed and uh, with Come the on, spirit man. of the uh, Bring it on. Bring it on. So we are very grateful. We yes. just want to thank again all of our sponsors and the, the uh, children uh, library here, as well as the Yonkers uh, YMCA, who's always a part of, um, of this program and has been for the last a uh, number of years and was just so grateful. Sister to sister who's on the internationals, they're on their way, as well as the African Healing Circle, who is um, certainly present in the house here now, uh, and we look forward in hearing from them uh, at a future moment. So at this time, we want to uh, keep the spirit going. We're gonna bring forth one of our own resident, dynamic, powerful, uh, writers and poets, artists, uh, and that is Brother Marcus John. Please Marcus receive John. him with a round of applause. Brother Marcus. Come on, Marcus. All right, peace, family. How's everybody doing today? All right, All right excellent. I'm Marcus John. Uh, I'm a poet and a teacher out here uh, in Yonkers and also a personal trainer. Yes, sir. I just uh, wrote my first book of poetry called The Book of John. So, <laughs> it's available online now, and I'll be having a public book release and signing for it on January 26th at the Blue Door Arts Center. Okay, so uh, we're here to celebrate Kwanzaa today, and um, I'm gonna piggyback with this piece called Who Am I that my brother Tom Ray prompted me on. But a question a lot of times in our community is like how do we define ourselves, you know, as, as, as either just humans or black folk and spirits or people just trying to survive and come together? So I took my own version of that and applied it to Who Am I? and how it relates to Kwanzaa. Who am I? A universal, melanated being, third eye seeing, always dreaming, bringing shelter to the storm. A warrior and healer spreading love and light above the plight in spite of those who fight that we are God in human form. A vessel for the victory, scripted in calligraphy. To spin the sins of man, I spent a minute on this ministry. Present participle in this mathematic misery could win the war with numbers, but our fleet is looking finicky. Seven, we'll build it up with the number of completion, laying principles down from root to crown in this dirt, unity will be found. Watering these grounds with self-determination, we grow into ourselves, doing the collective work and holding the responsibility to grow within and around us. A future made out of more than promises, making sure our economics are cooperative, building something to last and worth it, rediscovering our purpose, restoring traditional greatness, co-creators within this matrix. Don't forget how beautiful it can be to draw outside the lines, having faith that every stroke you make has been aligned with the divine. I am, we are, the seven principles of Kwanzaa and Guzo Saba. We come together as one as something great, as something more, healing up our own reflections, all connected by the core. Yeah. Hey. And then uh, I'll close out with a little piece that I used to run all the time with Brother Rob and Sister Oyenike. Uh, it's my rap part from Mojuba that we used to kick when we was in the band together. Let me step up. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. 
Black Phoenix, we arise from the ashes. My spirit burns as freedom surpasses. Blinded eyes, lies misled our truth. We were kings and queens bred from youth. Born in blood soaked Rwandan soil. I just pray my regime stays loyal. Mm. Let them see we are all creators, not inclined by these perpetrators. Savior, save us. Some souls are satyrs. Past invade us. They once enslaved us, raped us, raised us. Atlantic trade us, even trained us to hate our neighbors. Mm. I've been told, don't let them worry my soul. Yes. Olu Dumare is in control. Mm. I got pride that rides over the moon. Spare it to SU with the heart of Oshun. Orisha teach. Mojuba, wow. greetings. We were placed here to raise our seedlings, heal the damages of social savages, racial ravages, and middle passages. Blessed be the souls that soon realize we got sight to see past these lies. I thank God each morning for these eyes that wake to see the sun when I rise, when I rise, when I rise. When I rise. Thank God Almighty when I rise. All right, thank y'all very much. Yeah, he 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 yeah. touched on soul with that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. So please stay in touch with Brother Marcus That's John right. because he is a dynamite African making a contribution for our people. And uh, we were blessed for a number of years to be a part of a group with him and with us, and we just uh, we, we remember that moment. So we want to say Habaragani. Habaragani. Ujama. Habaragani. Ujama. Habaragani. Ujama. Collective work and responsibility. Oh, sorry. Cooperative, economics. Cooperative economics. economics. That just slipped out. See, you can have it. There you go. But we're learning. And it is a process. So it's cooperative economics, Ujama, to build our own shops and stores and other businesses and to profit from them together. It says to build and maintain. Right. I just want you to know that maintenance is a different situation. Maintenance say go out and support black businesses. Maintenance happens when you are giving the proper uh, support in your endeavors so that you can survive the high and lows of economic cycles. That's right. So maintenance requires all of us, see, to participate in uh, building up of our own economics. Am I making sense? I see. All right. So we just wanted to share that. Today is uh, Ujama and Cooperative Economics. So without further ado, we want to bring up another member of ours. She's been a part of our group um, here maybe for the last year, but she's come with so much love and so much spirit. Um, she's one of the cultural keepers of the South American tradition mm. uh, here in the city of Yonkers. And uh, come forth if you need to. And we want to uh, bring forth our sister. Do you need? Before that? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make a quote from Marcus Garvey before we start. Um, these are all our African family together. Yes. So we want to be sure that we are clear on what we are and who we are. That's right. That um, he said that if a cat had kittens, had babies in an oven, they wouldn't be biscuits. Right. Malcolm X, Malcolm X. Right, that's Malcolm X talking. Yes. Yes. So they would be, they would still be kittens. So we are not foreign from being African. We're Africans who live in America. We were born here. Our people, our ancestors may have been born here, may have been born in other parts of the world. Right. And so we are, we invite in our entire African family to come and join us in Kwanzaa. And so we are so honored and excited that's right. That's right. to be able to invite uh, the rest of our family in so that those who don't know may know that we are all family. Sister Safira. Sister Safira. Yes. Sister Safira. My name is Safira Acevedo. I do have a performance mostly focusing on Mexican traditional arts. Today we have a small performance from Dominican Republic representing Palos. 
which you know that in Latin America, which is includes Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, teach, teach. is all of us who are That's mixed right. in the slavery with Africanos. Yes. So a part of us does have an African in our souls. Mm. So today our group is a mixture of Mexicans, Peruvians, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, yes. Yes. and of course, Mexicanos. Yeah. So right. please round of applause for our group today. One of those could not be with us. And I'm Patty Kieber. And again, this is the original from Dominican Republic. All right. Yeah, give me a second, but I'm moving, you know? Uh, 
house of youth and love around the world. Yeah. Yeah. So encouraged, truly, 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 by uh, committed artists, people, young people who are committed. You, you heard that comment that the one in the middle feeling a little down, but she's here. All right, yeah. you know. And we just want to thank those who push a little further, a little That's harder. Right. That's right. You know, just because I'm a little down, it's easy to stay at home and just watch TV or to be sick and stay at home. But when you push on, wow, wow, what a blessing! What a blessing! What a blessing. And we want to, you blessed us by doing that, and we are so grateful. That's right. So again, Habara Ghani. Habara Ghani. Habara Ghani. Ujama. Collective, cooperative economics. I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get it together. Because everything just re repetition. To build and to maintain our own shops, stores, and other businesses. That's right and to profit from them together. It's gonna to take more than just talking that, to do that. Both of you, if I ask, how many of you are, are, are entrepreneurs or business owners here? Can you just about raise their fans? Just wanna see a few. Okay. You know that, and, I, and, and we want those hands to raise up high because we're asking the family to support you so that you can be maintained that's over right. That's right. Uh, the millennia, over the, over the years. But this is a building and maintaining principle. This right. principle is informing us, not just in words, but in yeah. deeds. We have to find a way, just like our ancestors found a way, to look for each other and to support each other and to build each other up where we find. When you see good work, they say, when you see a good fight, jump right in. No, I heard somebody say that, and I thought that was cute. You see a good fight, jump in. In other words, be on the right side. <coughs> be on the right side. Right. And, and support uh, black Justice. businesses. Justice. Yes. So at this time, we, wanna, um, we want to continue in the program. We have a full program for you. We have a lot of uh, presentations. We have workshops that we traditionally do. We will still do the uh, arts and crafts workshop and the, uh, the Kuji Chakalia workshop, the Know Yourself Who Am I workshop will be taking place, and, um, and also uh, the Kuumba workshop will be taking place right here with the African Healing Circle. So we have a lot in store, and then we're gonna have Bukende come, and we're gonna have a caramu, and we're gonna just enjoy ourselves. So we just wanna let y'all know that we have a full program for you, but before all that is done, <coughs> is proper, right after this uh, acknowledgement, uh, community acknowledgement, that we go into the seven principles, the seven days, and the seven uh, symbols I of quantity. Is that okay? Family, thank you very much for your indulgence. Uh, so at this time, we want to bring up again our uh, secretary, uh, a woman who really has meant so much uh, for us or to us as an organization and his strive to raise our level of organizing and uh, had really made her mark. And quite frankly, we really wouldn't know what to do without her and we're just so grateful for her. And that is our sister, Athena Dent. Sister Dent. Do what you got to do. Do All right, everybody. Abarangani. All right. Okay. So, um, first, I want to thank everyone for being here. Um, I'm glad you decided to spend your Saturday with us. Um, we hope that you take something very important away today. Um, it's one of the things that I've learned in my life, besides putting God first, is to know yourself. Learn yourself. Learn your strength. Learn your weaknesses. But most of all, learn how to be your best in this life. We all are going to make mistakes. We all are going to trip and fall. But the most important thing is that you get back up. I should. And that you keep moving. So what I also want to mention is that um, for me, Kwanzaa is a day of remembering our ancestors. So 
and come forth. Okay, let me take my voice up an octave. Kwanzaa is a celebration for me, is of our ancestors. I would not be standing here being the person that I am if it was not for Marcus Garvey, sure. Malcolm X, sure. um, Har especially Harriet Tubman. Um, so many other people who have given their lives so that we could continue to be and do our best. Testing, testing. How's that, people? All right, all right. You could tell I was the quiet one in school. Okay. All right, so I just want to repeat again. Um, we're glad to have you here today at our celebration, because this is your celebration. Um, it's a celebration of knowing your culture, respecting your culture, and most of all, loving yourself. We have a gentleman that we're gonna be honoring later on. Um, he is on his way. Uh, he had to work, but he will be here. Um, one of the people that I wanted to acknowledge who is here today, Dr. Shai K. Bay from radio station WBAI. Can you please stand up and make yourself present? Dr. Bay is a very um, committed journalist in her field. Um, she makes it her business to celebrate the history of people from the African diaspora. Um, I don't know if there's anyone here who has ever listened to WBAI. It is a long standing radio station. It's great in so many different ways. It's not just about learning your history. You get great music, jazz, gospel, soul, R&B, and they talk about so many different things, education, how to build your financial future, um, how to build your credit. They touch on so many different parts of yourself and how to just maintain yourself. So um, I wanna thank uh, Dr. Bay for coming today. Um, we have a couple of elected officials who are on their way also. Um, but I wanted to make a very important announcement coming up for 2019. Are we ready for 2019? No, 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 uh-uh. Y'all gotta do better than that. Let's try one more time. Are we ready for 2019? If you do not have your goals written down, do that when you leave here. Get your legal pad, get your journal pad. You can pick whatever color pen you want and write down your goals. Set goals for yourself. Don't underestimate yourself. And don't let too many bees buzz in your ear telling you that you can. At the age of 41, I got my black belt in Taekwondo. Okay, I was a single mother. I came out of an abusive marriage and I relocated here to Yonkers. So whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it if your heart is in the right place. So let me make my announcement. For 2019, we have our Black History and Heritage Month luncheon fundraiser. Okay, and the theme for that is going to be near, which means purpose. That is going to be on Saturday, February the 23rd. If you don't have a flyer, there are flyers up front on the table. It's going to be from 12 noon to 3 p.m. at the Nepperhan Community Center. Okay, and our keynote speaker is going to be national renowned artist Vinnie Bagwell. And if nobody knows who Vinnie Bagwell is, just go back downstairs one flight and you will see her sculptures. Or you can go across the street next to the Metro North Station and you're gonna see that beautiful statue of Ella Fitzgerald. That's Vinnie Bagwell. 
her hands are blessed. And she is so dedicated to letting us know who our ancestors are. And not only that, she's a down-to-earth sister. She's a sweet person. And we really look forward um, every year, and this has been going on for many years, we actually have one of our honorees here, Donna Davis, the photographer. She was our honoree back in 2017. And we're actually still deciding who we're gonna pick this year. We have, um, it's hard. We have some great people that we have in the pool. So uh, we're gonna be making our decision very, very soon. And um, I also wanted to mention that um, I'm an author. I've been an author for 10 years and I've been writing for 30 years. So kids, I started writing when I was 14. I started writing poetry. And I'm going to be at the Austin Public Library on January 29th, 2019, which is a Saturday, at the Austin Public Theater. And this is going to be sponsored through the Austin School District. It'll be based around my book, Francesca's Journey, which is my young adult education book. It's about a little girl who goes to foster care. And I took that from my experience being a child welfare specialist with ACS for eight years. And I worked with foster care families. So it's about a little girl and her journey. And it addresses so many different issues such as bullying, loss of a parent, change of home environment, and courage. So put it on your calendar. You, if you know any teenagers, if you know anybody who is a supervisor of a group home after school program, please. Let them come, I'm gonna have a raffle, and I'm gonna be doing autograph and Q&A with the young people and their parents and educators, and I'm actually looking forward to it. So, I wanna thank all of you for coming. Stick around, don't move, you can go to the bathroom and come back. <laughs> I know, I sound like your mother, right? But uh, we're gonna have a great, great day today. Thank you so much for coming, Ashe. I think I'll use it, you know. Let's give uh, our sister secretary, Sister Dent, another round of applause, please. The announcements are very important. Please uh, do take note and please be mindful of the announcements that you shared. And if there are any other uh, elected officials and uh, per persons that we wanted to acknowledge, please see Sister Dent and we'll make sure of that. Um, right now, we want to move right into uh, our Kwanzaa celebration. Uh, a Kwanzaa ceremony. So we'd like to call forth, uh, I see it working, uh, uh, Sister Mitzi. <laughs> Sister Mitzi Walker is working along. Yeah, let's give her a round of applause. Oh, Yannike, are you here? She's, okay, she's at the other one. Okay, so at this time, family, we'd like to do the uh, Kwanzaa um, ceremony, and we ask all the children, can all the children please stand? Yeah. All the children in the house, yeah. please stand. Y'all come on up, y'all come on up. Come on, all the children, come on up. Come on up, right around here. We want all the children to come. Yes, 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 yes. yes. All the children, come right on over here. I know you're looking at the table over here. How you doing? How you doing? I know you, sometimes y'all don't like, uh, I know sometimes y'all don't like being put on the spot, but you're a big part of what we're doing today. That's right, that's right. In 19, I know this sounds like an old lesson, but when Kwanzaa was first started, they had children there and that they, each one of them had a letter. Right. Each one of them spoke from uh, Kwanzaa A. You know, Kwanzaa is normally spelled with one A in Africa, but two A in America. Can y'all say Kwanzaa? Kwanzaa. Very good. Kwanzaa means first fruits. So it is a ceremony that talks about harvest, planting. You know, a, a harvest uh, ceremony. So during the 60s, we 
black people were fighting for our rights. And amongst them, somebody raised the question and said that if we don't solve our cultural problem, we won't solve no problem. That our key crisis was a cultural crisis. And from that, he went to Africa, studied all, uh, a whole lot of African societies, and then took from those societies and brought it back to America and put principles, took the principles out of those societies or from those ceremonies and formulated Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is now 52 years old and is celebrated around the world. It is something that was born out of our struggle as a people during the 60s. Okay? So now we're going to ask you all to be patient with us. Uh, Sister Mitzi and I are going to explain, we're going to move around to the table. Let's move around to the table.